The sleep of a laboring man is sweet. I often forget this simple truth, but I got reminded of it yesterday talking to a friend and uh, decided to wake up and get the labor, ripped out this transmission and uh, found one of my problems. I think the pump gone out the transmission, but the flywheel was cracked. It was making this awful rattling noise before it just gave out. So that alleviated my fear of uh, internal engine damage, but still I got no operation in the transmission. So I'm gonna have to rip it apart and uh, rebuild it. The sleep of a laboring man is sweet. Don't forget that, right? Um, you gotta get up and get to it. And you get a major reward at night. I mean, sleep. And when you when you don't, you get the opposite of that, right? You get these restless nights when you spend your day rested. Uh, kind of makes sense when you say it out loud, right? If you rest all day, you have restless nights. If you work all day, you have some, I mean, just... I don't know, you know, that, that sleep when, the, when you're drooling on the pillow, sleep is so good, right? It would feel amazing to hit the bed and close your eyes and not wake up until the morning, right? I mean, sometimes I envy my wife when I'm sitting there watching her just snoozing and I'm counting sheep, right? Just I'll start counting to 500 or something, trying to trying to get some rest. And I think I got way more than enough work to do that will keep me busy all day. And you probably do too, right? There's all kind of stuff in your life that you need to take care of, right? You need to take care of your mind, take care of your body, you need to take care of your spirit. And ain't nothing like accomplishing a goal that, you know, really feed your spirit and uplift you. Like, I, I got out here probably about an hour and a half ago. It took me, I mean, it take me long to get this transmission out. But I have been dreading it. I have been telling myself for the last couple of weeks, like, all right, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. I'm gonna do it tomorrow. I'm gonna do it tomorrow. And procrastination. And I mean, I wish I'd have been looked at this it was so embarrassing. It, this might have been the cause for the transmission to go out. You know, never know. But, you know, sitting in the parking lot, picking up my kids with that tat, 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 tat. Like, man, like my uh, childhood riding in a hoopty. I like things to be working properly. And I don't like my truck sitting here immobile. Bunch of stuff looking like junk all over the place. Uh, want everything to be running properly. But the sleep of a laboring man is sweet, right? Rich men envy that type of sleep, right? They be up all night fretting and worrying, but that, that carpenter, that construction worker, that lawn care man, that one who laboring all day, and he sleep good. He sleep real good. So take that into mind and get up and go, right? I mean, I don't even know if just going to the gym enough. I mean, you need to have a, a day full of labor. Not just, I mean, if you ain't doing nothing, obviously going to the gym is a start. But I mean, just going all day with it. And if you got an office job or a job that don't require you to put forth, because physical labor and mental labor is something different. You know, like you can, go to your mentally tough job and still not get that fulfillment that that physically tough job give you, right? You ain't got to do no thinking. You just pick up, put down, pick up, put down, you know, something that I means just basic, right? And God bless you. Peace, love, grace, mercy, patience, courage, and blessings be multiplied onto you.